Titans Season 1. I really enjoyed this mature, bloody, live action take on the Teen Titans. I love the teenage angst surrounding all of the characters. When all of the main characters in the show have dyed their hair, you know it's going to be real angsty. Even though the target audience for the show was angsty high school kids, the show managed to be like the young adult friendly Game of Thrones of the DC Universe. Showcasing lots of drama, violence, and sex. Emphasis on the sex. Forget about the code of ethics that Superman and Batman have of not killing anyone. The first episode in, Raven kills somebody using her demon powers. Starfire burns a mob boss alive, and Beast Boy sneaks into a GameStop as a tiger and steals a video game. This is a Titans team that does not give a f and I love it. I enjoyed seeing a dark and mature Dick Grayson, one that broods and tells Batman to f off. We're also introduced to another Robin, Jason Todd, who beats cops and likes starting bar fights. It was cool seeing the relationship between these two Robins and each of their own relationships with Bruce Wayne. Grayson argues Wayne uses his Robins for selfish motives and to draw gunfire, while Jason Todd loves the adrenaline and in the superhero suit. I hope the new DCU introduces audiences to Robin and gives us a look at their traumas and relationships with Batman. He lets you drive the Batmobile. I know there was a lot of hate going around for Starfire and her portrayal, but I actually enjoyed Anna Diop as Starfire. Anna is gorgeous, flashy, sexy, yet deadly and badass. Starfire isn't depicted as this clueless alien teen. Her arc in Austria gave me Jason Bourne vibes, the way she didn't remember her past. It was refreshing to see this portrayal of Starfire. Don and Hank were really cool characters and a great addition to the Titans team. Hank, played by Alan Richardson, is like Batman, except a heavy drinker. Well, Ben Affleck's Batman is also a heavy drinker, but you get the point. Richardson, who plays Jack Reacher on Prime, is actually one of my fan casts for Batman. I have a few other in mind, but that's for another video. Don Granger is just as badass and beautiful on screen. I wasn't familiar with these characters in the DC comics, but seeing them in this show was a great introduction to these superheroes. In addition to being dark and greedy, there are some really violent and bloody scenes that I really enjoyed. <laughs> as f***ed up as that sounds. Like when Beast Boy turns into a tiger and eats a live bad guy in a cage, or when Rachel murders the villain that's been wanting to kill her. That whole episode in the asylum was awesome. It broke the Titans and really helped bond them together as a team. I also enjoyed how the show was able to tie the characters together through Raven. Coriander was sent to Earth to kill Rachel. Dick Grayson is trying to protect an orphan girl who reminds him of himself. Don and Hank are visited by Raven in their dreams. And Beast Boy, well, Beast Boy just has a giant crush on Rachel. I'm a guard. Rachel. Oh, oh. I, I your like hair's your hair. cool. <laughs> Look out! Connecting all of the character stories through Rachel helped keep the plot concise and with a clear path. Instead of a confusing story entangled with different subplots that have nothing to do with each other. We're also introduced to the Doom Patrol, which I think was the first time audiences saw them on screen before they had their own show. It was awesome seeing the different characters and personalities, and it was cute seeing Rachel bond with Beast Boy and Robot Man, aka Brendan Fraser. Ooh, ooh, what's that taste like? Crunchy and moist. Oh god, I used to love fried chicken. Titans is an 11 episode series that dives deep into each character's backstory and traumas. Except for Beast Boy, I felt like his character arc in season 1 was just an excuse to introduce the Doom Patrol. I wanted to get to see more of that character instead of just a funny laid back Beast Boy we've always seen depicted. And 13 episodes is a little too much for my phone addicted ass. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Despite the awesome story and great characters, season one felt like it dragged on. Don't get me wrong, it's a great show and I highly recommend it for any DC fans. I just felt like the season one could have been condensed a little more. But as we get closer to the season finale, it was awesome. Just all out blood and violence involving all of the characters. That last episode where we see a dicks out Bruce Wayne that kills was insane to watch. And then we realize it's actually all a metaphor for Dick Grayson giving in to Trigon's control. All in all, I loved Titan season one and I'm curious to see if the same high bar the first season set is maintained in later seasons. I heard that's not the case, but you don't know if you like something if you haven't tried it. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'll be posting more videos like this one. Please be good to yourselves and give yourself a compliment every once in a while. You deserve it. My name is Rachel and... Hey, you want pizza? Okay. Anything on it? Just don't get pineapple on it. Obviously. Now hold on a second, no pineapple on pizza? What the f*** is wrong with you? I'm free of this.